Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, September 27. It's the 19th week after Pentecost and week 6 in our psalm cycle. Add in the scripture for this service, Psalms 94 and 95, and Hosea chapter 4, verse 1 through 10. And now please join me in singing verse 5 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. You rule by your resistless might, will rebel mortals dare, provoke the eternal to the fight, and tempt that dreadful war. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, O oh, Most High God, to whom vengeance belongs. Show yourself. Hallelujah. Psalms 94 and 95. Please recite them with me. Hallelujah, O oh, Most High God, to whom vengeance belongs, show yourself. Lift yourself, O oh, Judge of the earth, and give to the proud the reward they deserve. O oh God, how long? How long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak arrogant things? The workers of evil boast of themselves. They break your people in pieces, O oh God, and afflict your heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the orphan. They say God does not see, the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel does not care. When will you understand, you brutes and fools? When will you be wise? Can the one that made the ear not hear? Can the one that formed the eye not see? Can the one that chastises the nations not correct? Can the one that teaches knowledge not know? God knows the thoughts of mortals, that they are vanity. Blessed are they whom you correct, O God, and teach them the wisdom of your law, that you may give rest from adversity until the pit be dug for the wicked. For you will not cast off your people, neither will you forsake your inheritance. But judgment will once again be for the righteous, and the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless God had been my help, my soul had almost been lost. When I said my foot slipped, your mercy, O oh God, held me up. When many worries fill my mind, your comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of evil have fellowship with you, which makes iniquity into the law? They gather against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But you are my defense, my God, the rock of my refuge. And you shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yes, the Most High, our God, shall destroy them. Hallelujah, O come, let us sing to God the Most High. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise to God with psalms. For you are a great God, a great ruler above all gods. In your hands are the depths of the earth, the strength of the hills also. The sea is yours, for you made it and your hands form the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before God, our Maker, for we are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Today, if you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your ancestors tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years I was grieved with this generation, and said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. 
So I swore in my anger, they should not enter into my rest. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, O Most High God, to whom vengeance belongs. Show yourself. Hallelujah. A reading from the prophet Hosea, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Hear the word of the Most High, O people of Israel. For the Most High has an indictment against the inhabitants of the land. There is no faithfulness or loyalty, and no knowledge of God in the land. Swearing, lying, and murder, and stealing, and adultery break out. Bloodshed follows bloodshed. Therefore the land mourns, and all who live in it languish, together with the wild animals and the birds of the air. Even the fish of the sea are perishing. Yet let no one contend, and let none accuse. For with you is my contention, O priest. You shall stumble by day. The prophet shall also stumble with you by night, and I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge. I reject you from being a priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. The more they increase, the more they sinned against me. They changed their glory into shame. They feed on the sin of my people. They are greedy for their iniquity. And it shall be like people, like priests. I will punish them for their ways and repay them for their deeds. They shall eat, but not be satisfied. They shall play the whore, but not multiply, because they have forsaken the Most High to create, to devote themselves to whoredom. Here ends the lesson. And now we are bold to say, Our Father, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you made the universe with all its marvelous order, its atoms, worlds, and galaxies, and the infinite complexity of living creatures. Grant that as we probe the mysteries of your creation, we may come to know you more truly and more surely fulfill our role in your eternal purpose. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.